Good evening, my brothers and my sisters in Christ everywhere, regardless of your color of your skin. I am making this video today because I started to do a Facebook post, but my emotions couldn't come through on the, uh, the paper uh, in my words. So I wanted to try and make a video to compel the bishops, the preachers, the pastors, all of the people of America that are concerned as I am about the, the, the innocent lives that are being lost and the blood that is being shed by innocent people who are just trying to go about their daily lives. I'm calling on all the bishops and everybody, all of the bishops to touch out to other bishops, pastors, touch out the, to other pastors, we need to unite. I don't care what color you are. If you are concerned about the about the terrorism, this is this is what we're concerned about terrorists. Well, the, the biggest terrorists in the United States of America are the racist police officers. And we know that there are all of the police officers. We have some good police officers. We all know that. And don't pretend that, that you don't because we said Black lives matter, and then you tried to say all lives matter. Well, we all know that all lives matter, but America is not acting like all lives matter. So we're, we're, I am calling on all of the bishops and everybody to reach out to each other and let's unite because God has given us, God has given us what to do. We've been wondering, I've been praying, I've been wondering, and I've been reading Facebook posts from different people who are concerned with the, the, the with the state of this this nation, and so as in talking and with my cousin today, and I was so just in distress and despair, and she reminded me of Second Chronicles seven and fourteen, where it says that if my people, who are called by my name, the name of Jesus, would humble themselves and pray and turn from thy wicked ways, then will we hear from heaven. And so God has already given us the answer. So I'm asking the pastors and the preachers and the bishops and everybody, reach out to other pastors. Yes, let's unite. Let's unite. We will not sit by and just watch innocent life after innocent life be snuffed out for no reason. It would be different if we were, if we were doing something to warrant this treatment, but we're not. And so I'm asking, I'm asking everybody to pray, to pray, to pray and, and turn from our wicked ways and kneel and pray. And I'm asking the bishops and, and everybody, I'm asking you to get us united. I'm just an individual that's concerned. I'm concerned. I'm willing to do what I can do, but I'm just, I'm I'm just a nobody, as they say, trying to tell everybody, speak out as much as I can, do as much as I can to help in this. Everybody's got to come together in this. I'm asking you to, to, to and, and these uh, talk show people, a lot of you are trying to speak out, but you can't say what you want to say because you're afraid of losing your jobs. I will come on and say what I, I will be very professional, but I will say what I know you want to say. I will, I will speak out intelligently. I will be as nice as I can be, but I will, I will speak out against the wrongs that are, that are taking place in this, in this nation, the United States of America. Oh, we're of the land of the free, the home of the brave. We're all of that. But there is a terrorism going on in this nation and we need to speak out about it. We need to do whatever we can. We cannot sit by. We cannot continue to sit by and just watch it happen and let it become commonplace. The other thing that I want to say is I don't care what you think of Hillary Clinton. And if you were, if you were around as I was around, when uh, her husband Bill Clinton came up, came into presidency, and he cleaned up the Republicans, the George Bush's uh, mess. 
you already know that, that she is willing, she's able, she's already proven herself. But whatever she does, it can't be as bad as what that that uh, racist, hateful Trump will do if given the opportunity. He's already shown us what he will do. He's already shown us who he is, rather. Let's believe what he is. And if he can show us this and he's wanting our vote, what will he do after he gets our vote? God has not given us the spirit of fear. So we don't fear any man. We don't fear any man. Because God has not given us the spirit of fear. But we will reunite, unite. We will unite and come up with a solution. We will pray and God will intervene. So I ask you, America, to stand together, to pray together, and let's unite this land. God will heal our land. There is no need for no more bloodshed. God will hear our land, heal our land. And we thank you for it right now in the name of Jesus. We glorify you, God, for what you're going to do. We ask you to intervene from the highest power to the lowest power. We ask you to intervene right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, your name, your word says that anything we ask in your name, it shall be given unto us. So we're standing on your word, God. We believe your word. And we thank you in advance for what you're going to do. Amen.